Shalom, y'all. It's Ron Dalton here. <laughs> and I got an email today from CNN, just for the record. As you can see here, it's by a lady named Hannah Sarasone. And here's an email at warnermedia.com. She says, Hello, Hannah, Sarah San here with CNN. Hope you're doing well. I'm reaching out for a comment or statement regarding claims that the film Hebrews to Negroes perpetuates anti-Semitic tropes. Professional basketball player Kyrie Urban has reached her received backlash after publicly supporting your film. Do you have a response to the backlash? Thank you, Hannah Sarah San. So just so you guys can see, this is what I sent back to her. So, this is what I sent back to her. I said, black Negro people of Bantu descent in the diaspora in the Sub-Saharan Africa cannot be labeled anti-Semitic because we are the true ethnic bloodline Israelites of the Bible. Just a refresher lesson on why I say this, Abraham, is a descendant of Shem, thus making the Israelites Jacob's seed, also a descendant of Shem. I proved this hands down in my movies, books, and will do so even more in my coming movie projects and books that I'm currently working on right now. The true biblical identity and genetic stock of the Ashkenazi Jews and Sephardic Jews goes to the lineage ancestry of Japheth, the son of Noah, not Shem, from which the term Semite or Shemite derives from. According to the Hebrew Torah in Genesis chapter 10, Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. From Shem's lineage, particularly Eber, the great grandson of Shem, came Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who had 12 sons known as the 12 tribes of Israel. Modern Jewry today incorrectly uses the term anti-Semitic because modern Jewry populations today, Sephardic and Ashkenazi, are not the descendants of Shem. Based on who they really are, the correct term they should use is anti-Japhetic because they are the children of Japheth from the land of Gog and Magog, which is listed in Ezekiel 38. There is no well-known Jewish rabbi or well-known Jewish historian on planet Earth that could prove me wrong and debate me one on one. They would need backup and they would still lose this debate. This is why my movies, books, including my teachings are suppressed from reaching millions of people in the world. If Kyrie Irving, Irving or any black celebrity needs backup to prove that we are the true Israelites and the Jews today, identity, identity being the Gentiles, seed of Japheth who converted to Judaism, I am available to assist them on or off the camera so that the world can finally see and receive the truth. And that's it. Short and sweet. And as you guys can see, here's my hand. <laughs> I'm going to press the send button. And the message has been sent. October 29th, 3.39 p.m. So if they try to post something on the news or on a newspaper or a magazine and it's different than what I typed here and you know they are liars and that is not a good sign if even the news media reporters are lying on another person's statement. Shalom.